my work, I talk about keystone problems, and I talk about these keystone problems are what separates nascent technology from really becoming one of the market leaders. And a lot of people ask, what's the difference between disruptive technology and solving keystone problems? And there actually is quite a bit of a difference. Um, keystone problems are about technologies that we know about and that there's key problems that are limiting its launch into the market. And so really it's about solving high impact problems and finding those keystone problems and figuring it out. And the example that I use often is Dolby B introduced noise reduction and that's what made the cassette become the dominant technology. Disruptive technology itself is actually um, described in a little bit of a different way. Um, one of the examples that uh, Christensen used in his original work was the disk drive industry. And basically what they found was that IBM led at the beginning but small companies eventually overtook the entire market. And it wasn't because they solved some key problem and came out with new technology, but rather it's that the rate at which some technologies get better is just faster than what the market needs. So, you know, we've all seen it today. You know, 10 years ago it was all about can I get a PC that's fast enough to run what I need to. I gotta tell you now, when I order my PC, I don't even ask how fast it is.